It all started ten years ago, when the evil pirate lord Cinnabar murdered your family. At the time, you were only 12 years old. <laughs> You're gonna laugh at that. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so close. Sees family slaughtered before him. Laughs. Laughs. <laughs> Giggles. At the time, you were only 12 years old and lived with your family in the small fishing village of Clam Beach on the northern coast of Ruddlestone, halfway between the two major ports of the kingdom, Harabnab, home, home to all things lawful... Whoa. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I messed up. <laughs> messed up. <laughs> halfway between the two major ports of the kingdom, Harabnab, home to all lawful adventurers and sailors and the sinister port of crabs. Life in Clam Beach was not easy, but it did have a peaceful security about it. And then, the terrible day came. It was a clear summer day in Warming, that's capital W Warming, I think it's a month, when the huge, forbidding Black Galleon sailed into the bay, flying the dreaded flag of the Skull and Crossbones. Pirates. The bloodthirsty cutthroats were soon racing up the beach towards the village. The fighting was swift and bloody. Soon, most of the grown folk of Clam Beach had been killed, your father and two siblings dying while trying to defend the village. In the end, the village elders had no choice but to surrender to the marauding raiders and open the village's meager treasure coffers. The cruel pirate captain came ashore from his ship to collect the booty himself. <laughs> the sight of him filled you with awe and fear. The pirate was a tall, handsome man with a neatly trimmed, pointed black beard and his higher <laughs> hair tied back in a ponytail. He was dressed in the his clothes of a... <laughs> his dr... higher? Oh my gosh. He was dressed in higher? the clothes of a nobleman with a fine scarlet coat trimmed with gold braid and wearing a large tricorn hat. At his waist hung a gleaming cutlass, and you could not help noticing that on the back of his right hand was tattooed the image of a grinning black skull. When the raiders had finally gone, filled with, the f filled with feelings of hatred for those who had murdered your family, you asked Ragai, the <laughs> village soothsayer, who the pirate captain was. That villain is one of the most evil men to ever sail the twelve seas of Titan, was his vehement reply. He is one of the most feared pirate lords of our age, a creature without remorse, a murderer, and a follower of the bloodthirsty voodoo death god Keskari, whose mark is the black skull. He is Cinnabar, but because of the terrible atrocities he commits, he is also known as Bloodbones. From that moment you vowed that one day you would have your revenge on the evil Cinnabar. Just hang tight because there's more. Mama Juju? There's going to be a little Mama Juju in this story. Hey. <clears throat> Mama Juju. You know what else there's going to be? A, there's there's going to be a lot less of uh, Mama of Yu Yu because your mother became ill soon after that dreadful day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Three okay. years later, she okay. died. Okay. Yes. <laughs> On your 16th birthday, you left Clam Beach and made your way to Harabnab. Gaining the position of cabin boy on a ship traveling to the distant continent of Alansia. For the Gigi. last six years, you have sailed all across the globe, but you never forgot the promise you made to yourself a decade ago. Over many voyages, you have learned to... Wait, you have tried to learn as much as you can about the rogue captain. You discovered that Cinnabar's galleon, the Virago, is frequently is frequently seen sailing in the waters around Nankunu Bay, and that he has had... He has a hidden base somewhere close to the Port of Crabs. You also gleaned as much information as you could about the notorious city. That was not the way you're supposed to read that sentence, but I still did. And so, <laughs> when you decided that you were at last ready to confront your enemy, and the chance of a passage of passage on a merchant ship sailing to the Port of Crabs came up, you leapt at the opportunity. Vengeance, you are sure, will soon be yours. <clears throat> The Port of Crabs is haven to every pirate, buccaneer, and freebooter who ply their trade off the coast of the kingdom of Ruddlestone in the Old World. As you stand at the prow of the merchantman, looking towards the land, you can make out the ramshackle jumble of buildings of the infamous city and the outline of the old fort that stands above it like some ancient crumbling sentinel. The merchantman bumps against the stone jetty and you quickly disembark. 
Not only is the Port of Crabs one of the most dangerous cities in the world, or in the <coughs> old world, but a thick fog is starting to roll in from the sea. It is late afternoon on a chill day in the month of unlocking. That's capital U, <laughs> unlocking. Gosh. <laughs> <And> the docks <laughs> are bustling with activity. Standing close to the quayside is a large old stone building which looks like it could withstand a battering from Hydana, <laughs> god of the deep himself. <laughs> Hanging over its sturdy oak door is a faded sign declaring that this is the Jolly Roger. This seems as good a place as any to begin your search for Cinnabar, so you enter the inn. <clears throat> the spacious bar inside the Jolly Roger is packed with all manner of scurvy-looking sailors and other lowlives. The landlord is as big as an ox and has a large anchor tattooed on one arm. No one takes any notice of you as you enter, so you approach the bar and order a tankard of ale, costing one gold piece. Sorry, that wasn't a choice. You decide to question the landlord about Cinnabar first. Over the tankard of ale, you talk about the weather and the state of trade, and then draw the innkeeper onto the subject of the pirate you seek. I hear the virago plies these waters, you say. I'm surprised we weren't attacked ourselves. Not anymore, it doesn't, the landlord replies. Have you not heard? Cinnabar has been dead these last six months. Cinnabar dead? You have come all this way, after years of harboring desires for revenge, only to find that the dread pirate lord has already passed from this world? You ask the landlord how he died. <laughs> have you not heard? <laughs> I would have thought that everyone as far as the Diamond Islands would know by now. It all happened last hiding. Hiding is another month, capital H. <clears throat> Gosh. You listen attentively as the innkeeper relates the tale. It appears that Cinnabar and his crew were emptying the hold of a galley sailing from Harabnab to Arkelton in distant Annaland <laughs> when the renowned bounty hunter Conan O'Brien caught up with them <laughs> in his ship, the Fortune. Unable to escape, Cinnabar and his men had to defend themselves against the crews of the galley and Conan O'Brien. Fierce fighting ensued with Cinnabar eventually falling at Conan's hand, having suffered an incredible number of wounds, his body being lost to the sea. With their leader killed, the surviving members of his crew fled aboard the Virago, uh, returning to the Port of Crabs. Soon after, Cinnabar's second-in-command, Myrel the Red, set off in the Virago amid terrible storms, purportedly to recover her captain's body. Many now believe that the pirate lord's galleon sank as it has not been seen since, the landlord says, concluding his story. You thank him for his help, and in an in a bewildered ga daze, Jesus, you <laughs> to leave the inn. You console yourself with the thought that at least the murder of your family has at last been brought to justice. As you leave the Jolly Roger, you feel some... <laughs> As you leave the Jolly Roger, you feel someone pulling your jerkin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. What is a jerkin? I need a definition. <laughs> please. Uh, Big Papa, please. Uh, let me let me look Big up. Pop, uh, it's like a shirt, I think. I'm going to okay. say that. <clears throat> All right. Don't look it up. <laughs> it's a no. sleeveless jacket. It's a sleeveless jacket. It's a like sleeveless a vest, but jacket. Longer. <clears throat> it's a vest, but longer. Pretty much. Sounds like this boy just went around my homie and grabbed his wiener. But, you know, <laughs> Turning around, you discover that an old drunk, slumped at a table by himself, is the one trying to attract your attention. <laughs> just because he's dead doesn't mean he's at rest, mutters the drunk. Curious about the drunk's words and why he has a southern accent in the middle of a pirate-themed story, you sit down opposite the old man and ask him what he means. Let's Wait, was that say... in the book? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <was> no. I <laughs> to say... <laughs> Let's say that you don't want to go believe in everything you hear, but I know what's going on. Oh yes, old Drek knows. Cinnabar isn't really dead, see? And he's coming back. The old man says in a harsh whisper. <laughs> My bad. Intrigued, you press Drek <laughs> to tell you more, but he suddenly becomes serious and looks round the bar room uneasily. Not here. Meet me outside in ten minutes. You nod in agreement and leave the Jolly Roger. 